I met my husband, Clay, while attending ORU. And ironically, uh, he did not believe in God, even though he was attending a Christian university. We really just let each other do our own thing concerning our beliefs. He did not believe, and I did believe. Three years after we were married, we had our, our first child, Havana, and almost three years after that, we had our first son, our second child, Aubrey. And he was a, a needy baby, is what I classified him as. I couldn't ever put him down without him crying. And as a mom, you know, my first baby was so easy. You're told every baby is different. So I just thought, well, this is a high needs baby. During this period of time, Aubrey's eyes had picked up the scanning movement where they would move back and forth. And I just thought he was looking at everything. But it was brought to my attention that was not natural. His eyes should not be moving that way. So we went to the uh, pediatric ophthalmologist. He did a very quick eye exam, and he said, I need you to get your husband here. I didn't even know what to think. I was just gripped with fear. So my husband came, and the doctor um, brought us in a room together, and I remember his exact words. She said, baby is not seen. Baby will not see. The best you can hope for is maybe he'd be able to make out shapes or shadows one day. He goes, but he'll never see and he'll always be blind. This verse though kept repeating in my mind, why was this man born blind? Why was this man born blind? And I went to the Bible and I went and found that verse. It said, why was this man born blind? Is it for the sins of his parents or his own? It said, he was born this way so that my glory might be shown. And I just knew, it's like something dropped in my spirit. It was just God telling me, I'm going to heal him. I was a roller coaster every day wondering, is he going to start seeing? Is he going to start seeing? I would go check when I would wake up my son, kind of see if he could track things, and he was still blind. I had this hope. I knew he could be healed, but then wait, my son's still blind and nothing has changed. I was crying out to God more than I ever had, crying on my knees, saying these prayers. I would have some peace, but then I still felt alone. I'm like, God, where are you? Why aren't you working? And I just remember just being like, you need to come right here in front of me and heal him. Like, if ever there was a time, like, I'm not going to leave you alone until you heal him. So at that time, Clay came to me and he just said, I don't think this is healthy. I don't think you're dealing with reality. I think you're in denial. And stop praying and talking about healing. And that was hard. This is the one thing that's getting me through and that I'm holding on to. Don't ask me to stop praying because I won't stop. We were celebrating my daughter's third birthday. My mom was holding my son and I kept feeling like he was trying to see her shirt. And I put Aubrey on my bed and I got my own black and white shirt out. I moved it from side to side and Aubrey moved his head from right to left, side to side, following, and I knew he was seen. I brought my son in and the doctor said, yes, he was definitely seen. He said, it was so slight though, it didn't really matter. He said that he would always be blind, still legally blind, but yes, he was seen. And I remember just thinking, no, you said he would never see, and now he's seen. I knew that this was God. I knew that he had healed him. So his vision just kept getting better and better progressively, going from not seeing at all, worse than 2200, then to 2150, 2100, 2080, 2070, 2060. Every time we would go back, there would be an improvement in vision. We were told he would never see, but he sees.
When Aubrey started seeing, it completely changed Clay's beliefs. Overnight, instantly. And he knew, he had been front row to all of it. He says, I don't understand it all, but I know he's real, I know he's good, and it works, God, God's here. Whether you are someone in a halfway house, you know, getting out of prison, or you're someone going through a divorce, or a job loss, or loss of a loved one, and you're at that broken moment, that broken place, I want you to know that God is hearing all your prayers. He is counting all your tears, and He's working. Keep praying, keep coming to God, because as long as you do that, your story's gonna end in victory, because He's gonna lead you wherever you need to go.